One of the questions we hear is, how can we improve our audio for our live stream or our Facebook Live? In the analog world, that was a little more complicated to do because the person running sound couldn't just put on headphones and try to correct anything and everything for a video mix without sacrificing potentially uh, what might be happening in the main auditorium. With the newer digital mixing consoles, that's really become a much easier problem to solve. Let me take a couple minutes and kind of walk you through what you can do on a digital mixing console and an iPad and how simple that has become. This is the Yamaha TF Series digital mixing console. And what I'm about to show you for the most part is gonna work the same or similar on pretty much any digital mixing console. This would be what, what we'll call the top layer uh, that we're using to mix for our main auditorium. So this is our house mix, our front of house mix. And whatever we do here is adjusting what's going on in the main auditorium. If I come over here and switch th this button on, this is my video send. And you can see there's a separate little mix here that is just for our video send. And we can adjust that. But in order to get to that, I have to switch these levels. So if I shut this button back off over here, now I'm back at the house level, switch it back on, this is for video. If I come up here though, I have an iPad connected to the mixing console via the auditorium Wi-Fi. And now, if you look at these faders up here, I can adjust this. It's also adjusting what's actually on the mixing console. So now whether your video person is in the same room or in a separate room on the other end of the church, they can actually control the video mix independently of what your house mix is and without affecting it. Actually, the person running the main auditorium's sound won't even know that there's changes being made for the video. They won't even see it because I can still come up here and make changes to the video feed, but it's not changing anything going to the main auditorium. If I were to switch over and look, I might actually see the video people making adjustments. And so what that does is allow two different people to create two separate mixes without having to have a second mixing console or a bunch of extra hardware uh, to seamlessly control both environments. Now, I realize we didn't show you in depth or detail how to set any of all that up, but the key is that a, a mixing console like this has an enormous amount of flexibility and power to do a number of things that you can't do as well or as easily on an analog mixing console. And with the prices of these continuing to drop, they're really becoming more and more affordable, almost at the same price as what an analog mixing console was just a couple years ago. If you have any other questions or would like more information, where would we find this equipment? How would we set this up? Feel free to contact us. Our information is listed below. Feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Look us up online. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much.